All right, good morning. Okay, I'm in the greenhouse as you can see, and uh, I'm gonna try something. I have this, let's see if I get the camera to zoom on it for you guys. Um, this uh, bay leaf tree, and I think um, I can separate this thing. That was the whole reason I had bought a bunch of them. I bought a bunch of bay leaf trees, and I separated them before. And uh, and it's smaller. This might be harder to do that. I've been letting it. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. So I'm gonna see if I can. I want to have separate uh, a bunch of separate trees here to sell. And I had done it, I have some uh, that's growing, and I had sold some in the past, and I just kind of hadn't been doing anything with this, just been letting it sit, and I have another one, uh, that I put in a five gallon container, and it's been growing, and I think I'm going to just leave that one, and plant that for us. I hope I don't mess this up and ruin all this. Usually I, I do this in water, and I still might. Let me get all this off and uh, get a lot of this mud saved. The bay leaf, oh my god, it smells awesome. Man, it smells so good. I don't know if I'm going to save this mud. It's full of worms. So I know the mud's still good. The worms have been fertilizing it. Alright, let's see. Put this down for a minute. And let me empty this over here. So here it is, and uh, it's kind of grown together, but I'm going to separate some of this and plant it and see if it's going to take. Um, this could be a mistake what I'm doing, and then again, it might not. It might be something that I can do here and uh, make more, separate them, make more trees.
because I know you can take take these things and uh, you can take cuttings and you can uh, root it. If I can get it with some root on it, what I'm wanting to do. I'm going to lose some, some of them here, and I might have to put more than one in them. I can get some of that mud out of there. There we go, look at that. on separating some of this another time you know separating it again
three of them here, it looks like. Might not be too good. We're gonna plan it anyway. Here and I got all this, so this is what I need to do. I need to make, make a mixture because some of this is this seed start mix, which would be good for soft stuff or for helping uh, keep it airy, you know what I mean? For these new. Uh, New roots to uh, be able to break through. Here I got some peat moss.
So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 of them in the gallon uh, containers. 1, 2, 3, 4 in the little uh, starter cups. So, uh, let me get some water on these. For today and then um, we're going to be putting the uh, fish fertilizer in here in a couple of days get over the shock and we'll see how they're going to look hopefully they'll be ready by the summer to sell Some really dry mud. And make sure it's nice and damp. And they're gonna, they're gonna. I mean, I just did to them. They're gonna go into a serious shock. So hopefully they'll recover. They look healthy, and there's a lot of root on them, so we, we could be okay. And I, and you know, uh, bay leaves. You can. You can propagate them by just cutting the branch and sticking it in the ground, you know. All right. That's pretty good. Now, I'm really looking for a place to plant a bay leaf tree here in the homestead. Um, I still haven't really found the spot yet. Um, they do get big. Now, you can keep them trimmed. And... Um, that's all you got to do is keep them trimmed. You can trim branches off and give people branches and they can have some fresh bay leaf uh, for their cooking, you know? But, um, well, I ha this is the one I want to plant right here. That one right there. That was, a, that was a cut off. There's another one. I've just been hanging on to them, but uh, I'm going to sell. go ahead and sell that one. I'm going to keep this one. And hopefully all those ones in there are going to propagate and do good. And if they do, and I get to plant this one that I want to plant, then I have another one right here, right there, that I'll take and separate and make a bunch of uh, a bunch of plants to sell. So that's the game plan, guys. I just need to find a good spot to put my plant my bay leaf tree because I, I know once you put them in the ground they're going to grow a lot quicker than what they're doing in these uh, containers you know um, but yeah nice so and then I got the four over here see them there so those had little bitty roots so we'll see if those even take you know they probably will because you can propagate them from what I hear it propagates pretty simple and I remember I was going to I had I know somebody that has one I was going to uh, I asked him if I can go get a couple of branches, and he said, yeah, but I never did go get them. Then I found somebody selling some plants on Craigslist or something, and I went and I bought all, all these plants, and it wasn't that many. And, uh, and then I started breaking them up like this, and uh, I propagated a bunch of them. I sold a bunch. Okay, so I don't know if I want to put it out here in the front somewhere. Because I don't really have any space in the back here. Alright guys. Alright, I found a spot to put my, the bay leaf tree. And there it is right there. Okay. Now, I had a plum tree there. And it was one that I had dug up in, in another part of the yard and planted here. And it put out flowers, and then it, and then the flowers fell off. Well, I just checked it today, and it wasn't green. The thing died. So apparently, I, I, I didn't transplant it correctly or whatever. I didn't, I, you know, I, I, I'm not um, 
real good at or like uh, really know like digging up a tree and transplant it. I've never really done that. You know, my trees that I plant, they're in pots and I take them out of pots and plant them. Never had, never do, did I dig one up already, you know. So apparently there's things I got to learn. So anyway, I dug it, I dug that up and I went ahead and put that tree there. That So that's going to be my my bay leaf tree that's going to grow right there. So I'm happy with that. And I'm going to keep that trim because bay leaf tree can get, they can get big. If we never fool with them, never do nothing, they could grow huge. And so I'm going to keep it trimmed down and uh, so that it you know, don't get so big where it's going to block sun for other things that I'm growing. You know what I mean? So, all right, so kind of a somewhat productive day today. It's a Sunday and it's just kind of mellow, mellow day for me. But, um, you know, I, I, I got all those. Uh, bay leaf trees I, I, I made and um, and I, I've been having to do that for a while just uh, been kind of lazy and then uh, today I actually got rid of uh, all of the roosters I had uh, I had 16 roosters in here and I had the, I had three big old beautiful roosters in here and they're all going now I got rid of them all so all I have is these buffs right here and I got I got three hens and five roosters here, and then this is my egg layers here, and I got six ladies and uh, one roo here. So uh, that's what I got left. That's what I'm going to hang on to for right now. Uh, these hens are sold, these little baby hens, and I got a guy coming tomorrow. He's going to take some of the uh, some of the roosters. So, um, so other than that, man, it's quiet. It's quiet. I mean, I, I I can't get over how I was so used to all that all the noise, and I was because now I'm realizing how quiet it is without all those roosters here. So anyway, uh, I'm kind of glad to get rid of them just because uh, my freezers are actually really full. Um, that was one reason I wasn't processing them. Number two. Um, I want to get rid of them anyway because I, there's another breed of chicken that I want to get into and uh, I'll probably eventually get rid of my buffs because I want to get into um, this other breed but now that I have room I can I can go ahead and get the other breed get them here and start getting them ready and then fade these out these buff or Orpingtons fade them out because the other ones are going to be more um, uh, a better dual purpose. Buff Orpingtons are considered a dual purpose bird, but it takes them a while to get big. And um, where uh, the other one, the American uh, breast uh, chicken, um, they're ready to process like in anywhere from 12 to 16 weeks. So, <clears throat> you know, you could do them in 12 weeks, or you can wait another month to do it. And, um, but anyway, so. Hopefully these bay leaf trees will all take. I'm hoping that they all take. And, uh, and if they do, that's going to be a good thing for me. And um, because th those are going to be all for, to sell, you know. So, uh, but we're going to, we won't know nothing for, as far as probably at least, at least another week or two before we really know if, how these are going to be. Because I'm sure... What I did to them, they're going to go into a shock, and uh, so they're not, they're not going to like recover real easy. You know what I mean? So, um, so there we go. We got those, and um, and then I planted mine that I've been wanting to plant, and then I still have this one here that I can probably get another. Uh, I don't know, maybe 10, 10 or twelve trees out of this one. So, um, and then I still, I got a couple of them up here that I forgot about. Yeah, I got three more up here. These are, uh, have been transplanted, and they're doing little small things, but they, they're growing. They're doing good. Okay. So, anyway, that's what we got. That's where we at with the, with the bay leaf trees. Okay. It's been about, it's been actually five days. Uh, since we separated the, the bay leaf bush into separate little uh, trees we're going to make and here they are here and every one of them every one of them looks 
really good. I got a little bit of sagging on this one here, but that's about it. So I might even cut that off just to help it out. So, so what I'm going to do now, since it's been five days, um, I use this stuff here. Now, I'm not endorsed by it. They're not paying me anything. I'm just, I get this at Home Depot. It's a fish fertilizer. It's a 511. It's real, real light. It's great for your new plants because it's, it's not going to burn it. It's not going to hurt them at all. So this is what I'm going to give them a little bit. Each one's going to get watered with this. And then I have those four over there in the little cups. Now they, uh, well, they look okay. They got some sagging going on with them, but they, they need a little boost here. And actually, I'm going to put some of this in the water, let these plants get a little boost. Okay, so now. This is good. We'll, we'll let this uh, go some more. Now, this is like really one week since I've done this. Five days. Almost almost a week. Okay, so uh, so we, we're at the end of uh, April. So at the end of May, if they still looking good, they're going out for sale. You know what I mean? And uh, I think they'll be just fine if they're making it uh, that, you know, they make it a month and they still look this good. Now, uh, I do water them almost every day. Well, I do every day, but like I don't soak them. I don't want the roots getting. I want. I just dampen it enough that the roots have to reach out to get water. So that co that causes growth. Okay, you know, if you put so much, pack it with so much water, the roots don't need to do anything but just soak up the water. So uh, I lightly. That's why I didn't put a whole bunch just now. You just lightly put some in there. And uh, it's going to dampen the, the soil, and it's going to cause it helps the roots to grow, which is like an exercise for your roots. When you um, you don't drench them, you moisten the soil so that the roots move around trying to get water, and then, and then they want more, so they got to move. Like they might drain out one little area, and they'll move to another spot. You know, if you if you soak them and soak them, then they're going to get all they need in that one spot. They're not going to venture out and grow i mean i kind of that's how i pictured it in my head but anyway all right that, that's what's going on there guys so uh yeah and uh same, same thing with the goji berry plants right here now i don't i didn't put any fertilizer on them they funny they are so funny um i mean i watch videos people say man they, these things are so hard I, I don't know i have a i have um kind of a hard time with them uh, i know what to do now like they are very drought tolerant. Let's say, let's put it that way. So I don't give them much water. Now, if I do, when I water stuff, if I hit it, man, I just go right over it real quick. I don't even like, I don't even spend, t I don't, they don't get much. And they're doing good. And, and then if you put fertilizer on them, it messes them up too. They're, they're, they're funny because uh, every time I had them, and uh, like the ones I got in the front, I mean, I went through several times of them just losing all their leaves by transplanting them went from from the little container in to a bigger one to that one every time I, I transplanted they just lost all their leaves and it looked like it died and then it come back and then the weather you know it, it get, loses its leaves you know so I mean there's a lot that goes on and I've, I've put fertilizer on it before and they just like almost killed them you know so I just I will put some but, um, and we did put some in the front, you know, but hey, the ones I have in the front.
All right. Close this up for tonight. And um, just kind of wanted to, to uh, give you that update on the bay leaf uh, trees. Um, I went from make, taking a bush and making um, trees out of it. And uh, there, and it, it's another one right there um, that it was a little bitty bush when I got it, you know. So I just uh, planted it. And uh, the, when I first, I had three of them. I bought three of them originally. The first one I broke it up, and then uh, I sold some. Some died, um, but I wasn't really. Uh, I'm a little better at things now than I was then, and I still have a couple of them left. Yeah, and uh, I got three left from the original that I bought, and I don't remember how many I originally made. Okay, there's three here. Uh, my tree that I planted is four. And I got another one right here. That's number five. So that, that looks really good. That's a nice tree there. And um, mine that I decided to keep and plant. I planted it over here. And um, that's it right there. So, uh, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, so um, I think I'll be able to sell these kind of quick. It's like I don't, I don't see bay leaf trees for sale around here much, you know. So um, I really want to um, grow them where they bush out like that so I can continually make trees and I, you know because once I sell those I, I just have that one batch left and once I do that they're all going to be going so uh, I'm trying to maybe uh, I might keep s some to try to make another bush so I can do this again so I don't know how long it takes I find it, they slow growers but um, but anyway they're, they're good uh, they're good as far as just getting the leaves, drying them out, and you can use them in your cooking and stuff and put some good flavor to your food, you know. So, uh, I was just looking up at my apples. I have a couple of apples on this tree. Let's see if I can show it to you up there. I'll zoom in on it. So I got one here, and then I got two back here. See them? They turn red. They're supposed to be a red, a red to, uh, uh, apple. So they turn red. And I had a fourth one. I don't know where it's at. Oh, I see it back there. I see it. It's hanging in the back. There we go. All right. So there's my apples hanging on the tree there. There's three, and then the other one was where? Oh, now, now that one's back there. That's right there, right above the, right there. I got four apples on the tree, and none on the other one yet. So, uh, I mean, Anna. It pollinates with the door set. The golden dose set on that Ian Shamir, and this is the Anna, and I got the Ian Shamir over there, and it never did put flowers out. Like, this had flowers on it, and that never did. I don't know how it pollinates with it. Uh, I don't know. I don't get it. But anyway, it did, apparently. And this one's supposed to be a self-fertile tree, and uh, let's see. Um, no, it doesn't say. It doesn't say it's self-fertile. But, um, anyway. Okay. Alright, that's it. I just wanted to kind of, uh, give you that update on the bay leaf trees. And, um, what, I'm do what I do to them. So that's going to uh, be it for the video for that. Now, maybe later on, uh, I might 
touch on it on one of the videos and kind of add it in somewhere I'll let you see an update on it but that's the update from five days ago when you saw me separate them um, that they're still alive which is a great sign and then I went ahead and just uh, went ahead and gave them some fertilizer and that's going to help them really uh, spring up a little bit because it's just a real light light fertilizer okay that's it guys see you on the next video be blessed bye